In a video message, Mena also explained how he helped the government recover N1.3 trillion through the AGF. Abdul Rashid Mena Mena, who is wanted for alleged corruption, disclosed this in a video aired by Channels TV on Monday, November 27, 2017. It had been revealed in October that Mena was secretly reinstated into the civil service after he was sacked two years ago for allegedly misappropriating about N1 billion pension fund. The revelation outraged many Nigerians, who called into question the ongoing anti-corruption war of the Buhari government. Amid the scandal, the president ordered Mena's immediate disengagement from service and directed that his recall is investigated. Some of the government officials who were accused of playing major roles in Mena's recall, including the head of service, Mrs. Winifred Oyoida, quickly denied involvement in the matter. In the video, Mena suggested that Buhari knew about his recall all along, stressing that the president ordered it. He said, the letter of dismissal, I didn't even receive a letter. It was when I heard about it, that, my lawyers went to court. They took the Senate to court and the court quashed whatever was the report of the Senate. The court also removed all the warrant of arrest. The court upheld that I should return to work. That was in April 2013. But the last administration refused to take me back to my job. They refused to obey the court order. The head of service was asked not to return me to the office. The Federal Civil Service Commission chairperson at that time did not want me to return to office. Now I did not return to office but when this government came in, the president gave his note that go and sit down with Mena, I've given you the approval. They sat down with me after the security agencies cleared me of any wrongdoing. He said he has never been sued in any court of law for any allegation. Nobody has ever taken me to court in Nigeria. I want Nigerians to know. I have never been taken to any court of law. Nobody has ever sued me for anything. I've never been taken to any court of law. I have sued all the security agencies that we are talking about and I have won. I have full court judgments. They place my name on Interpol, I went to court and removed it. They did this, I did this I removed it. There is nothing they have not done. Even the one they could not do, they went to immigration, put my name on no-fly list. I went to the airport. I was in Nigeria, that was in 2015. I went to the court, the court granted me N2 million damages for not flying that day, he said. Mena explained how he helped the government recover N1.3 trillion through the AGF. He added that the process of his reinstatement started after the Attorney General visited him. He added, as soon as this present government decided to sit with me, and after sitting with, me, I told them I will not leave you to go back to Nigeria without something in your pocket. I'm going to give you something in your pocket and the minister laughed. The Minister of Justice said what are you going to give us as gift? I gave him a document, I say go here, here here, there's N1.3 trillion they are going to steal it because they've been stealing every year. He was shocked, he said not possible.